Stranger Things has more viewers than any Netflix show in history and fans that are completely obsessed. During season three, those fans were obsessed with Scoops Ahoy, the fictional ice cream parlor at the center of the action. Again? As one of Netflix's partners, Baskin Robbins saw an opportunity to take the fictional world fans love and make it real. All we had to do was become another brand. On July 2nd, Baskin Robbins stores in the US and Canada were turned into fully operational Scoops Ahoy's overnight. We served USS Butterscotch. USS Butterscotch, I mean, you gotta try it. And people waited in line for over eight hours just to get in. A few days later, the Scoops Ahoy ice cream ship set sail across America, and Stranger Things cast members handed out ice cream to shocked fans. <laughs> I literally care. Then we released a Scoops Ahoy commercial straight out of 1985. Ahoy! Ahoy, sailor! Get on board the USS Butterscotch, the new Scoops Ahoy flavor sailing into Baskin Robbins. It's the flavor teenagers can't stop talking about. Scoops Ahoy! When viewers called a 1-800 number at the end, they received a strange message. You may have noticed unusual symbols on the USS Butterscotch flavor label. Please disregard it entirely. Which led them to Morse code hidden in store. That was just the beginning of Operation Scoop Snoop an alternate reality game that took fans back to 1985 to become characters in the Stranger Things universe. Scoop Troop, what's your 20? And to make the experience authentic, players could only use technology available in 1985, like landlines, fax machines, and telnet, an early form of the internet. So how do we crack it? For two weeks, players descended into a rabbit hole of 160 pages of new storyline, using clues from the show, events from 1985, and conversations with Dustin to close rifts opening across the country. Holy shit. Players took to Reddit and Discord to decipher clues and share conspiracy theories. And just when they thought they had Operation Scoop Snoop figured out, we incorporated their handles and comments into the game's storyline in real time. This is what I'm talking about. When they realized they had become part of the game, they lost their collective mind. Shit. In all, over 500,000 people played Operation Scoop Snoop, resulting in 57 total years of gameplay, creating an 11% sales lift across North America and a whopping 150% sales lift in select stores. And the top finishers of Operation Scoop Snoop each received a reward. Free ice cream for life. That's right, Erica. Ice cream for life. Courtesy of Baskin Robbins, Netflix, and Scoops Ahoy.